Hi dear students, in this video we will discuss about question 5 and 6 of exercise 5.8 class 12th. As you know, there are two theorems which are useful here. First was Rose theorem and second was Mean Value theorem. We discussed questions of a Rose theorem in a previous video and now we are going to continue our work from question number 5 onwards. Mean question 5 and 6 to our left. So see what is given here. In question number 5 here, verify mean value theorem if fx equal to xq minus 5x square minus 3x in the interval, closed interval AB and A and B both are given A is 3, A is 1 and B is 3. Find all C belongs to open interval 1, 3 for which f dash C equal to 0. We will see it later on. For the time we have to verify mean value theorem. Let's start by writing that uh, definition of the function which is fx equal to x cube minus 5x square minus 3x. In AB means, close interval AB means, that is it is 1 comma 3. Since this function is a polynomial, and you know, all the polynomials are continuous for all the real numbers. So we have to write it because fx is a polynomial. And if it is a polynomial, therefore fx will be continuous for all real numbers. That is, we can say fx is continuous for some part of real numbers. That is, in this closed interval 1, 3. 1, 3 is only some part of real numbers. But real numbers are so many endless numbers and if it is continuous in this polynomials are also derivable so we can say and fx is derivable or differentiable in open interval also student there is a difference in closed and open interval i hope you know this closed means 1 and 3 included open means 1 and 3 are not included after that try to remember what we write in mean value theorem we find fa, fa means here 1 and fb which is 3 here. So we write answers only for them by using this definition of the function. So here it is x cube means 1 cube minus 5 into x square means 1 square minus 3 into x means 3 into 1. So 1 minus 5 minus 3 will be 1 minus 8 or it will give minus 7. Further what about 3? When you put 3 here, I am writing directly, you can understand, okay, this is not difficult for you. So we have to write 3 in place of 1 only throughout. So 3 cube, 27. 9 into 5, 45 with minus sign. And after that you have minus 3 into 3, 9. So we have 27 minus 54 or minus 27. We have these. And along with this you can mark derivative of fx also if you want it is f dash x what about derivative of this it is 3x square minus 5 into 2x and minus 3 x will have derivative 1 so you have see what answer will come 3x square minus 10x minus 3 again a quadratic polynomial so we have these two conditions and we have these answers for f1, f3. We can say therefore all the conditions of mean value theorem are All the conditions of mean value theorem are verified. Therefore, there exists C belongs to open interval and open interval is 1, 3 such that derivative of this polynomial fx that is we can say f dash at C equal to fb minus fa over b minus a. So we have to write answer now by using the definition. What is f dash x? 
Average x is here. You have to replace only x by c here. So you have 3 c square minus 10 c minus 3 equal to. What about uh, fb? fb is answer f3. It was minus 27 and minus sign f a. What a will give here? What was answer of a? It was minus 7. So minus or minus 7 over b minus a means 3 minus 1. So we have this calculation with us. We have to find answer of uh, this calculation now. So it is 3c square minus 10c minus 3 equal to minus 27 plus 7 over 2. Shift 2 to the left side or wait for the time. Okay, when you get answer of numerator, then try to cancel it. So 3c square minus 10c minus 3 equal to. Here it is minus 20 over 2. And you can cancel it. You have 3c square minus 10c minus 3. Minus 10 when you shift here it will be plus 10 equal to 0 or you have 3 c square minus 10 c plus 7 equal to 0. So we have this calculation, let's continue it. So it is like a quadratic equation to which you can easily vectorize product of first and last 21 c square. You have to serve two numbers whose product equal to 21 c square and their combination give us minus 10 c. So they are 3c square minus 7c minus 3c. This, is, uh, this was given in lower classes also. So you can easily understand how we factorize quadratic polynomial or equation by splitting the middle term. So I will take c out from these. So it will have 3c left here minus 7 and from last to minus 1 common 3c minus 7 equal to 0. So we have this factor common 3c minus 7 into c minus 1 equal to 0. And it will have either try two answers of C, 3C minus 7 equal to 0 or C minus 1 equal to 0, which will give us 3C equal to 7 or C equal to 7 over 3. And here you will get C equal to 1. But see, out of these two answers of this C, only this value belongs to our open interval. As we mentioned here, C belongs to open interval because 1 is not included. So we can say therefore c equal to 7 over 3 belongs to open interval 1 comma 3. Hence, mean value theorem verified. But, there is still one line more. Mean value theorem verified. Next, we have to see what is the last line. Find all c belongs to 1 comma 3 for which derivative at c of this given statement is equal to 0. So we are going to write derivative now. We have given okay if derivative for which derivative is 0. So if f dash c equal to 0. So if it is equal to 0, write derivative. You have marked derivative. So I am writing directly it is 3 c square minus 10 c minus 3 equal to 0. Compare it with the ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Just see what are the values of these coefficients. Here a, 3, b, minus 10, c, minus 3. Find discriminant which you already marked so many times in 10 class. b is k minus 4 is e means minus 10 square minus 4 into a. a is 3, c is minus 3 or 100 plus 36 which is, see what is given here, okay, 100 plus 36 will give 130. 6. So we have this 36, 100, 136. Now we have to use quadratic formula. What is quadratic formula? Quadratic formula is yes c or variable equal to minus b plus minus square root d which is 136 over 2a. What is 2a? 2a is 2 into 3 or minus b minus of minus 10 plus minus square root 136 over 2a means 2 into 3 6 or it will be 10 plus minus what are the factors of 136 136 we will go on to 68 to 34 so it is 2 into 2 into 34 over 6 form pair of 2 and take it out so you have 10 plus minus 2 square root 34 over 6 
Firstly, take two out and cancel. Five plus minus square root thirty four over six. Cancel it, and you have c equal to five plus minus square root of thirty four over three. But still, there is a need to find square root of thirty four. Let me write square root of thirty four here. Square root of thirty four. You have to learn how to find square roots. So square root of thirty four is. We will go on five. Five into five, twenty five. Nine left, and double of five is ten. Now you have to mark decimal and pair of zeros and decimal in here also in the answer. So shift this pair of zeros. Nine hundred will go on eight. So eight into eight sixty four. Then eight into one eight it will be thirty six. Write one more pair of zeros. Shift here. And double of eight, sixteen. So it is one one six. This will go on. You have to write some number along with one one six, and by the same number you have to multiply. If I write three here, it will cross three into three nine, eighteen one left four three. It will be three four eight nine. Sorry, it will not cross. It will give answer here. So I am writing here three. It is three four eight nine. You don't have any need to worry about remainder. You have to worry about only. This answer of the square root. So I am writing its value here. So c equal to plus five plus minus five point eight three over three. Now one time use plus sign and one time minus sign between these values. Five plus five point eight three over three and five minus five point eight three over three. Or it is ten point eight three over three. This is minus zero point eight three over three. Now divide these one by one. Ten point eight three will be divided by three. See what answer will come. We'll go on three. Three into three nine one left. One point eight means here decimal. Okay, eight we are shifting out decimal. Three into six eighteen. Three three into one three. So it is three point six one. And second zero point eight three. So zero point eight three when you divide by three, it will not go first. Okay, the zero into three zero. Then the after decimal eight is there. I am shifting it. Three into two six two left twenty three. Three three into seven twenty one two will left. Three into six eighteen two left so on. So your answer is zero point two eight. You can say approximate. But these both the values they are not belonging to open interval one comma three given. This value is less than one. Even one is not included there. This one is more than three, which is also not possible to write. So we will write both the values, both the values of C does not belong to one comma three open interval. So in the end, what we have to write, we have to write all the values for which this derivative equal to zero. But there is no value of C, so we have to write. Therefore. Or hence, there is no value of c, no value of c for which derivative of our given function at c equal to zero. So this was our question number five. See next, what is given in question number six? Students, question number six is based on question number two. Already you have done this with rules theorem. See what is given. Examine the applicability of uh, mean value theorem for all the three functions given in above exercise two. In question number two, there were three parts. You have to check mean value theorem is applicable or not in these three parts. That's right. By okay, just mentioning this first statement. So I'm writing solution of first part. First part is f x equal to greatest integer of x for x belongs to five comma nine closed interval. You know. This is the greatest integer function at f x at integral points will not be continuous, and if it is not continuous, it is also not differentiable. So you have to write here since f x is not continuous at integral points. What are they? Five included, six, seven, eight, and nine also included. Therefore, f x is 
not derivable it will also not be derivable so we are not able to find derivative of this also so hence there are two conditions required in mean value theorem they are not satisfied so hence mean value theorem is not applicable is not uh, applicable because conditions conditions of uh, mean value theorem i'm writing in short are not uh, satisfied so they are not satisfied that's why this theorem is not applicable similarly you can do part number 2 part number 2 i'm going to change here okay this condition only this uh, interval given sorry i will mark answer here along with okay this mark answer of uh, first part so interval given in part 2 greatest integer function same given interval is minus 2 to 2 this is again the same it is not continuous that integral points what are the integral points minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 so it is not derivable and the same answer you have you have to repeat the same answer for this and uh, there is no change because it is not continuous and not derivable therefore mean value theorem is not applicable see what is given in third part of this let me erase it and we will start third part students third part is fx equal to x square minus 1 for x belongs to closed interval 1 comma 2 see this is a polynomial so we can write since fx is a polynomial and you know all the polynomials are continuous for all the real numbers therefore fx is continuous for all real numbers implies we can say fx is continuous for x belongs to 1 comma 2 closed interval or you can mark in 1 to closed interval and therefore fx is derivable also therefore fx is derivable you can easily find derivatives of polynomials in open interval this one two there were both the conditions of mean value theorem are satisfied so both the conditions are satisfied for mean value theorem therefore there exists a real c real number c belongs to open interval 1 to such that what will you write for mean value theorem try to remember we have to write such that f dash c equal to f b minus f a over b minus a what is derivative of this f x we can mark here if you want 2 x it is having derivative 2 x so if it is f dash c put c in place of x so it is 2 c what is f b f b means what is value of uh, this function at 2 they are a and b so let me write their values so f b means f firstly write f a f at 1 it will be 1 square minus 1 or 1 minus 1 0 and f b means f 2 answer at 2 2 square minus 1 Four minus one equal to three. So we have these values. Fill there in that calculation. So you have three minus zero over interval is one comma two a a b. So you have two minus one. So you have two c three over one or c equal to three over two. And this three over two means c is equal to one point five, which belongs to open interval one comma two. so we have mean value theorem satisfied so therefore mean value theorem verified verified for c equal to 1.5 belongs to you can say 1 comma 2 open interval this was our last question i hope you enjoyed this video you are understanding these things explained in easy way but still there is a need of your hard work so 
Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for latest notifications. See you next time. Bye bye.